of Rocky Mountain Race Week. We are loading up at the hotel and going to do our 185 mile drive back to Pueblo. Canadia, eh? Oh Canadia? <laughs> the third family in the lower left was made by the same Boston family. Okay. Circa 1880. Wow. Oh. That's cool. So was this a mining town? Yep. Gold? It was plaster gold, so oh. it was in the stream beds. Yeah. So there was... Um, Motorsports Park. Um, car ran perfect. Uh, when we were kind of coming down into Pueblo, the car was running a little warm, like 210, 220. Um, and I didn't get on film, but I pulled into a gas station 
and this is the second drag and drive that that trailer has been on and I've never had an issue. Well, I go to pull in a gas station, the rear door comes open, my jack comes out, my luggage comes out. So Tony and Tess and some other uh, race speakers had to help us get all that stuff back in. I don't know why, maybe I didn't have the lock all the way locked or something, but the door had flown open. We got that taken care of, we got to the track. Um, we were gonna try and hook up the two-step so that I could leave on a little bit of boost. I had Matt there. All I needed to do was kind of wire it and put the input in the computer, but needless to say, uh, it was a little tough for me to crawl underneath there without a test light. It was the end of the week. I had been on like a month of no sleep, and there's like two switches underneath the dash, and I decided I'm not even gonna mess with it. So I got the car in the lanes, pull up there, uh, make a hit. The car's a little bit warmer than I'd like. I think I left and the car was 228 or something like that. It actually cooled down about 10 degrees, but I that is because there's no, there was no catch can on the car. So uh, when I turboed it, I lost the factory style catch can for the radiator overflow tank, whatever you want to call it, and I didn't have one. So with the turbo being right there, the only thing I can think is when the turbo gets hot or when it gets hot from sitting in traffic or whatever, the spring and the cap opens up and lets a little water out, but without it going to a box, it can't suck that fluid back in. So I start losing fluid. Now that block's filled with concrete to make it a little bit tough. And once you start losing a little bit of water, um, I think that's why it ran hot. <clears throat> so uh, we scrap the two-step, get, uh, get, get in the lane, and we make our hit. So as you can see, there was no time on the board between asking my wife and Matt and everybody which lane I was supposed to be in. I was in the no time lane. So I got up there, made a rip, uh, completed Rocky Mountain Race Week, but didn't get a slip. Uh, the car didn't, it, it felt good. Uh, it felt good out the back door. It, it was a little bit uh, tough kind of slowing it down on the return road there, but I'm not sure that it made a 10 second pass that time, maybe. Um, I don't know, only God knows. But we ended up going back to the pits, uh, started loading our stuff up. And when that was said and done, uh, we stayed around for, there was a stick shift shootout and one of the gentlemen in the dark and one of the guys from Colorado, I, I don't Watch know if it was a grudge race or what, but uh, we ended up wrecking, which you never want to see. I put, put so much money and time on these cars and then when they get stuck into a wall or into each other, it really sucks. But uh, after that race was over, Tony Tess and I went and had dinner. Um, uh, we went to Chili's of all places and it was one of the best steaks I had ever had. Maybe I was just hungry and tired, but uh, had a steak, had a couple beers. I had such a blast with Tony and Tess and my wife. That was. One of the funnest times I think my wife and I have had without our children. I mean, we went to Hawaii, but it was just her and I. It was a different kind of fun, being with friends and it, being on an adventure. It reminded us of being like teenagers, you know, where you don't know uh, what's gonna happen next. So uh, it was awesome. Thank you to Matt and June, uh, all the guys from Canada. Um, just an awesome experience. I can't wait to do it again. I'd love to do it in the Falcon. Um, I, like I've discussed in other videos, you know, 
trying to get a car together is a lot of money. And being that the Mustangs are already together, that's why we took it. It may end up at another one before the Falcon's ready, but we're going to get a few projects out of the way and uh, get back on the Falcon. Um, and that's about it. Uh, thank you guys for watching this series. Thanks everybody that subscribed recently. Um, I love doing the YouTube thing. I love sharing my experiences with others. I love sharing my um, knowledge when there is some and my shortcomings when, when there is some. Uh, not everybody can uh, weld those dimes when they're TIG welding and not everybody can shift those gears like, you know, jump force or whatever, but uh, we're all out there trying and that's what matters. So I'll catch you guys on the next one and thank you for watching. She doesn't function well with no sleep. It's Saturday, October 7th at 4.30 a.m. in Pueblo, Colorado. Mm-hmm.